friend Laurel from Schenectady ARC is here and she's going to talk about some wonderful apps that the agency has created. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for tuning into this, and thank you, Jordan, for inviting me. Uh, I'm Laurel Scaltetti. I am the Senior Speech Language Pathologist at Schenectady ARC Ridge Health Services, and I am really excited to share these apps with you today, Goal Plan Do and My Life Plan. And so both of these apps are available currently at the App Store. Um, you have to search them, My Life Plan, no spaces as well as Gold Plan Do, no spaces, <laughs> but you can also search Schenectady ARC, and these apps, as well as some other apps that we've developed, will show up in the App Store. So take a look at those when you have a chance. So Gold Plan Do Review, which is actually the full name for this app, but it wouldn't all fit on the, in the App Store name. So. This is a, an app that we developed based on long-term projects and achieving goals. So originally it was not actually developed to work on achieving goals. It was more just developed by um, Dr., the late Dr. Mark Ilvesacker, who was a professor at the College of St. Rose and an author and just a brilliant man. And he really believed in long-term projects. And as a graduate of St. Rose, I too embraced this concept. And so a lot of what we have done since I've been here is working on projects. Now we're sort of using that approach to achieve goals, whether it's a valued outcome or um, any kind of life goal. So I actually took this quote right from Jordan who sent this in an email to me. This, this pro approach to achieving a goal or a project gives an individual a focus and direction Little steps make it seem make life seem more manageable, and that's right from you, Jordan. Nice. Uh, so one, <laughs> yeah, I liked when you sent that to me in the email, so I added it in. Um, I uh, more information about project approach learning is available at the Project Learn Net website. It is a wonderful resource for teachers, clinicians, parents, educators. It's uh, managed by the Brain Injury Association of New York State, and it really has some really wonderful things that I think people who are listening might benefit from checking that out. So the focus on from what I took off that website, the LearnNet website, was the executive function and self-regulation first piece of it. And what this is, we take for granted planning something, executing a project, even if it's something new simple as making a bed to going to the doctor or maybe planning a birthday party for somebody, most of us know what goes into that. We have an internal script of what to expect, right? We, we know what to do. We know how to go. We know how driving there. Um, so all those things that we take for granted, many individuals that we support don't have those scripts. And so we use this project approach or this goal achievement method to, to help them learn how do you get to that point of, of a project or a plan or a goal. So they don't have these written scripts, whether they didn't learn them, they weren't taught, or they weren't taught effectively for the person to learn. This quickly just goes over something from the website about the whole goal, obstacle, plan, prediction, do, review. Those are all the steps for this approach. That's pretty complicated, so we simplify those into goal, plan, do, review, and the obstacle and the prediction, we kind of absorb those steps to this process um, within the goal, plan, do, and review. So you could read that over if you'd like to learn more about that approach. So since this is something we've always done here, this is an example of how we used to do it on paper. <laughs> so there's a, on the bottom there, that's a, some pictures of a book that we used to create. You know, life prep two is having a pasta party and goal is to have a pasta party. Then we set a plan. Then we did it. Then we reviewed how we did all on paper. And so we skipped the predict part. So um, that one we decided to go, you know, just absorb. We decided it's time to put technology to use <laughs> for this approach. So in 2002, our department, we all were given iPads iPads are so motivating and fun for the individuals. Um, Heather Hillary and I worked to develop this app 
And um, now we have more apps. Our MSCs and Res Hab specialists also have iPads and they're using this app. Um, we didn't know how to do this on our own. So we had an app developer. Her name was Sue Kohler. Sue Kohler was a, re a now she's retired, chemistry teacher at Union College. She did a small project with us and she loved it. She loved working with us. She loved working with our population. She retired and said, I want to do more apps with Connected EARC. So just for the fun of it. <laughs> so um, it's kind of hard to get together with her in her quote unquote retired life. She's very, very busy. <laughs> and I also have limited availability. So developing this app was a little bit of a process. But here we go. This is what it looks like. When you open the app, you'll get that first screen there on your left versus goal plan do review at that point you can choose if you want to create a new project now creating a new project could be a project an event or it could be how do I get to my goal I have this valued outcome of um, I want a job I want my GED I want to live independently whatever the valued outcome is make that that's your project that's the goal so then you're gonna put in the project name there um, in the middle picture, project name. This one happens to be get my GED. Person then develops a goal. What is my goal? That is entered in there. I want to pass the exam so I can get my GED. And as you see, there's a picture there and I'll show you in just a few minutes of how to enter that in. Okay, the next thing you could do is use an existing project because of course, none of these goals are achieved overnight. It's not done in one setting. This is over time, so you may have a few valued outcomes or a few goals or events that are being worked on, projects that are being worked on, so you can um, choose an existing project. So there on your screen, you'll see on the left some example of projects <laughs> or goals that are being worked on. We just recently had a barbecue party. That was a whole lot of fun. Uh, that one has a picture with it. The one underneath, the fun with friends. The group that was planning that didn't need the pictures. So we skipped the visual supports for that project. Um, I have somebody else I'm working on who loves Halloween, so he's planning a Halloween party. Um, and then you see the GED one that was on your previous screen. So there in the middle, you have a goal, um, or the picture of the milkshake. We had a milkshake day. Then um, over on the other side, you can see that they have put a picture with the goal with that. Okay, some features I want you to know about when you're setting the plan. So the next screen, when you touch plan, the one on the left comes up. You touch the add button right there, and that like makes comes to the gray background there. When you're entering in a step name, please remember that the individuals we support, they have that built-in support of using the microphone. If it's somebody who doesn't spell that well or that's a challenge for them, make this doable. So use that built-in microphone for the speech to text. Word prediction use that feature. It's built in. Our clients can be successful by using word prediction, by just knowing the first letter of the word they're trying to spell. So that's a great feature to use, the word prediction. Built right into the iPad. I encourage to use those. Other features, once you have the name of the project and some details entered in, um, that I want to say that this, the plan that is set it can be sequential, like step one, do this. Step two, do that. I Some people that I work with, that's how they like it. Others just name the step, like this one was pick a day. That could have been called when, it could have been called schedule, whatever. The individuals that we were planning this chose pick a day. It has the uh, ability to link to the calendar in the iPad. This is optional. It, you don't have to enter in a due date, but it really is a nice reminder to the person. On this date, you plan to do this. This is really helpful for the individuals in our college success program. If they are working on a project or an assignment for their class and they have to turn something in, they set this reminder to not only work on it, but to turn it in. I don't know if you know anybody who's worked on an assignment, did it, and then forgot to turn it in. So set this reminder to turn in the assignment. Only thing is remember to set an alert. The default on the iPads is always none, which boggles my mind. I think that there should it shouldn't be none. But 
make sure you change the alert to um, a time frame that will work. All right, adding in a photo right there, you can use it links to the camera built into the iPad. You can take an in the moment photo to support that part of the plan, or you can use pictures in the picture library in the moments or the camera roll of the iPad. I love Google Images. Our clients love Google Images. Uh, we, you, we pull up Google Images and I have the client find a picture that is meaningful to you that will re help you know what this step is all about. And as you can see there, the clients chose June 2017. That was what they chose. Oh, pick a day. They, they looked at that and said, that's, we have to look at the calendar. So that's the one they selected. So the next part is once you've added in all of the steps by pushing that plus button, they can be sorted at this point. The steps can be put in order or not. It's up to the person. Um, if you choose to sort them, you just touch that sort button and you'll see in the middle there, those three little lines on the right-hand side come up of each step. At that point, it, you can touch those little lines. You know how to do this and it will move things around <laughs> into flipping things. You want them to be in order. Also what comes up is the, um, if you want to move, delete things, let's say for example, transportation. Well, I don't, I have transportation now. I figured that all out or it's not an issue. The person can then delete that, that step. Don't fill your mind with things that are not necessary. So if that's a step I no longer need, I can get rid of that. Okay, now the do part. So as each step, is completed, it, you, the person will touch it and it turns green. And that part, that means done. That's a go, oh, it's ready, it's done. I don't have to do anything more with that part of the, of the app. So you can see on the right hand side, that was our milkshake day, fun day. Everything was completed so it's because it's all green. So remember the self, executive function, self-regulation. The, what will help us get better in the future and make this script is that if we have the ability to review what we did, that's how we learn, not only by doing it, but reviewing it. What worked, what didn't work? Uh, what should I change for the future projects or assignments or goals that I have? Remember when I, I skipped the prediction and the um, uh, prediction and obstacle steps? This is where you can really talk about those predictions and obstacles to focus on that. So what were the good points? Again, this happened to be milkshake day. So the good points were we had four choices. Four choices, that's appealing to a lot of people. Of course, the milkshakes were delicious. Um, it was, they were simple. It was a very simple activity, but it was a lot of fun. We offered them for free and we had enough ingredients. Some of the obstacles that the group identified as a struggle was we only had two blenders that was kind of hard because people had to wait for their turn it was okay with a test of patience but it would have been more efficient if we had four blenders for each of the flavors and a big problem was we ran out of cups now you think about next time how do i fix this problem for next time well of course we need more cups and maybe it can think about having a blender for each of the flavors Again, I'm taking this from you, Jordan. I, I liked what you said in an email to me. I know. The individuals review their progress, identify what worked and didn't work in the process, and they, they gain confidence on their abilities to navigate this complex world. When we break things down into these small steps, it doesn't seem so overwhelming. It just seems, I can do this. This is one step at a time. And the clients really have benefited from being able to see the steps, learn the steps. I've, so many of my clients have now done this process for so long that they'll say to me, they'll come up and say, let's plan uh, a, a party. And I say, okay. And they'll say to me, what's our goal? <laughs> and I love that. They've, it's now becoming their script. And somebody else will say, right, what's our plan? Let's set the plan. Th that's the whole point. Now they know that you can't just, something doesn't, you know, mad wave a magic wand and it happens. You have to plan it ex to execute each step one by one. And that's really exciting for me. Once you have reviewed it, 
Now, remember, I used to do this in book format, <laughs> which was fun in itself, but now we have technology. If you look at the bottom of your screen on the left there, it says prepare a PDF report. If you touch that, that middle screen comes up. At this point, you have the choice to either email this whole process, everything, all the steps, the, um, the good points, the bad points, the review, all the steps can be either printed or emailed. You could e I could email this to myself and then just save this in a folder for later review. Or it could be saved um, for a, another ISP meeting and the person wants to share this at their ISP meeting. Look what I did. The person achieved their plan or the goal of getting their GED. They can say, look, this is how I got there. This was my plan and I did it. Um, it's a real sense of um, ownership and pride. So there's an example on the left or the right hand side of what that report looks like. Um, so I, I just love this, this app that we've used. The original intent was more for a project. This very well can be the step somebody can plan out to achieve their life goals. It can be, you know, I'm used at an ISP meeting, a goal or valued outcome is identified and how are you going to get there? I don't think we think about that. That's an important <laughs> A very, very important point. And with the folks that we serve, uh, they are the most patient people in the world lots of times. <laughs> and, you know, if you want a job, you know, you should be able to remind yourself what your goal is. I want a job. And you should stay on top of things because if you don't, who will? So that if you could follow up with your job developer and say, hey, how's that search going? You know, just to be able right. to expect things. Uh, you know, if I had a leak in my uh, kitchen and I called up the plumber and he says, well, I'll get back to you in six to nine months, I probably wouldn't use that plumber. And the same thing goes for any service that we give to the people that we support. They should expect results. And the goal plan to is a great way for people to stop, uh, to keep on top of what they want out of life. And, and one other thing, Laurel, that you mentioned before, when the guys uh, integrate this into their own thinking, that is what is so superb because none of what we're doing is to say that you should always have your iPad or your phone with you and use that as your uh, prosthetic. Eventually, we hope that all this gets internalized into a person and they, when they in, encounter a problem, they'll say, oh, well, first I have to figure out what my goal is, how I'm going to accomplish it, what do I have to do to accomplish it, and how successful I am. And you move from an app to totally a real life existence. That's right. That's right. They internalize that script of how to get that. This just puts words and pictures to it to get them there. I liked, you just said something about um, this app is in fact available for iPhones, um, not just iPads. So this can be, if somebody has an iPhone on the go with them, it, they, you know, they take it home and say, what's the next step um, without having to have an iPad. So thank you for mentioning that. Okay, so that is, that's the first app that I worked on with Sue Kohler. We are super proud of that app. We use it regularly. Um, I hope that some of you find this valuable to achieving a goal, check out the Project LearnNet website if you'd like to learn more about Project Approach Learning and um, you know, use this, this app if you find it worthwhile. All right, the second one, uh, this, the My Life Plan app, this one currently is only available for iPad. And it's kind of a, there's a lot on the screen, so it, it's easier to use on an iPad. Um, and there's a little information about it. There is the, the background before on this is that we used to have, I used to sit with my clients and sit down and say, pray, let's talk about your meeting. It's coming up. We, I would actually have them write almost a script that they would follow along and say at their meeting. Um, Person-centered planning is, you know, more about the person. Whose meeting is it? It's the individual's meeting, not the service coordinators, not the whoever. It's the person's meeting. They should lead it. So we decided how can we get the person more involved in the meetings? So we came up with this. Um, it's a combination of taking what we call my life at a glance, as well as the palm interviews from CQL and, and we condensed it into this app. 
the time frame to complete this whole thing is anywhere from 20 minutes. I've had somebody go through this app to plan for whatever meeting is coming up, person center planning, ISP meeting. And I've had people who have taken well over an hour. People who have done it a couple of times are able to do it a little faster. Those who are doing it for the first time, it takes them a little bit longer. Once I teach the app and show an individual how to use it, by about the third or fourth screen, I'm happy to say they are fairly independent with it. It's, that's really, that is the goal. Some built-in things that, you know, features that I want everybody to be aware of. Again, I can't say this enough, the speech to text um, that use that feature. This one also has voice recording. So it's not speech to text, but it will actually be the person's voice, the individual's voice saying what they want to say. People really like that. Word prediction is still available. It really helps people be successful by using that word prediction. It accesses the camera. So if the individual would like to take in the moment photos, I've had people take my picture and they're talking about speech services. They say, Laurel, can I take your picture and, and show them who you are? Sure. <laughs> so they'll access their, the camera and also as well as the photo library. I had a, a gentleman who made a bench out of wood. He, he built this bench, he stained it, and what he did was he had it on his iPhone and he just airdropped it to the iPad and then he showed everybody as, at his meeting, look at the bench I made. I want to do more wood, with woodworking. The app currently goes through 40 different statements. The, on those statements came, like I said, from the Palm interview, the, my life at a glance, and we condensed them to 40. They are read to the person if they want to have the, per, the statements read to the person. So um, I'll play this video, and then we'll talk about it in just a second. Let's see. Hopefully you can hear it. I belong to a club or a group. That is how this, this works. The, you, the voice you heard, that was one of our self-advocates. Uh, there, like I said, 40 statements, four individuals each read 10 statements. When the user goes to use this app, the choice is made to the, the user to have the quest statements read to him or her or not. If somebody is able to read and wants to read the statements on their own, they can do that. Some individuals struggle with reading, and so those statements can be said to them for the person. There is an admin mode to this app on the how-to guide. This uh, guide is available to use to follow along with how to use the app. So this is how it kind of goes. If somebody's meeting is coming up, what I do is I say, hey, your meeting is coming up. Maybe you could plan for what, to, what you want to say at your meeting. Think about the different topics you want to talk about. This app is only one possible tool that a person could use to plan for their meeting. You all know that they might have some kind of written agenda or they might do something else to plan for their meeting. So this is just one thing, one tool they could use. And a lot of people like it because it's using an iPad. So once I have that conversation with the person and ask them if they'd like to use the app, I have the person set up a, an account. So you'll see right there, it says username and password. So the individual will set up their own username and password. And it'll ask if you're a new user or not, yes or no. Okay, once that is set up, then we set up a time to meet. Set up, uh, let's meet next you know, Friday and we'll go through the, I'll show you how to use the app. In the meantime, what I do is I go into the admin mode, as you can see right there on the screen. The username is admin. The password is admin. That's so secure. I know. <laughs> um, and I go through all of the, the default statements on the app. So you'll see right there, it says uh, modify questions for John D. For example, one of the statements is, I like my job. If John doesn't have a job, that is not an appropriate question for John to even answer. So I will delete that question. And I will delete any other questions that just doesn't, they don't pertain to John's life. But I might also add in a statement about that's not covered. Um, I've added statements in about pets. Um, I've had somebody who really wanted to talk about their pet or their desire to have a pet actually. 
So I added that in. So that is already, all those statements are ready the day of our meeting. So the person can go ahead and log in using the username and password that they established before, speak the questions or not, depending on the person, and then go through all of the statements. So you saw that little video clip and the person then decides, it starts off in the middle, then decides never. I say, that means no. No, I never get to go out into the community. Um, or it can go to the other end. Always, yes, I go out into the community a lot. 40 statements are gone through in that way. Oh, I'm sorry, needs work could be checked. If the person says, I really want to work on this. This is something I want to get better at. I want my team to know that I want to work on this. That gets checked. Share at the meeting. The person may choose or not choose to talk about it at their meeting. If it's something that's kind of private and they want to talk about it with somebody separately, they wouldn't check that box. The person wants the whole team to know I want everybody to know this. I want to share this with everyone that check that is checked. There's a progress bar at the bottom so that the person knows how close am I to getting done with this? Because <laughs> it seems quite like a lengthy process. So that progress bar right there shows the person how long. Then there's the my thoughts button. And you just saw that on the video clip. I touched the my thoughts and it went to this screen. So this is so the place where you can text uh, speech to text, record, take photos, add photos from the library um, in that spot. So then what happens, all of that information then goes to creating an agenda for the person to follow at their meeting. So there's an example of, of an agenda right there, introduction, make sure everybody knows. I have had an individual skip that. If this is the same team of people we've met you know, for the past two years, everybody looks around, we all know each other. <laughs> We could skip the introductions. We all know who everybody is. But as you know as well as I do, people come and go, <laughs> and there, there may be new people to introduce. So if you see where it says community hab right there, that little symbol means that there uh, were thoughts that needed to be shared, um, but maybe not a picture associated with it. So the other one there, my health, there's a picture. This is a how-to guide without spending an entire time telling how to use it. <laughs> um, so that's the how-to guide is available to follow along with that app. Um, something that is really great is that a report can be created from the app, not only the agenda, but a report. The report can be emailed to a service coordinator or to a family, um, and the report has a satisfaction score. So it's that happy face that you saw, it starts off at 50 and it goes up to 100 and down to zero. That didn't show up on the screen that the user used, but it does equate to a, a number, a score. And that score can be tracked over time. So right now, John says, I, uh, sometimes I do enough things in the community. Wouldn't it be great if we, we worked on that? He checked needs work and he wanted people to know this. Well, maybe in six months when we meet again, maybe that score will go up to 80. That would be great. And that's where you can keep track of progress that will um, get, get working towards their you know, life goals. I haven't done this yet. And I'm bringing this up on here is projecting the agenda on the wall. I really would love to do that sometimes because um, that way everybody can follow along. But also I have some individuals who put in a lot of pictures and rather than have to show everybody on the iPad, wouldn't it be cool if it was just up on the wall and everybody could say, hey, look, there is, there's your bench you made. That's awesome. And we all talk about it. The, what you see there on the screen, this is the feedback I'm getting. Definitely individuals are more focused and they're more attentive to their meetings. They're definitely more involved in the actual meeting. Um, it's easy to use. That, that was the whole point of this. We wanted to have it be user friendly and really intuitive. So it keeps the moving, meeting moving along. I've had so many people say, well, what's next on your agenda? <laughs> when the meeting is getting kind of dragging out a little bit. Well, let's move along. What's next? It's very adaptable, highly customizable, depending on the user. I have had people, I, I simplified this down to only 10 statements. That And other people, we've added to the 40. So very um, adaptable. Definitely feel more prepared and almost excited for their meetings, actually, which you know, when you go to a job performance, it's you and your boss, but could you imagine having your family and your friends 
sitting in on your job performance interview with your boss, that would be terrible. Mm -hmm. So meetings can cause a lot of stress for people. Let's get rid of that stress. Let's, I want the person to feel prepared, feel confident. This has achieved that. It's fun. Do you have anything you wanted to say about the app, Jordan? Love it just for the idea, not only for the individual, but it also it helps the person that's supporting the individual just have a dialogue because it prompts a conversation. I think so many times in this business, if you know someone for a long period of time, all of a sudden they become more of a stereotype than an actual person. This makes you go through the discipline of asking the question again. Like you mentioned, your one guy had different answers a year later. And people change over time. They're not just a static thing. And that's why this is a great exercise. And I can see how this so easily flows into the goal plan do part of the exercise that once you identify these things, okay, how am I going to make them happen? That's the point. The connection is we had the person had this meeting. Valued outcomes are now established. How do we get there? How do we achieve them? Go back to the goal plan do. Yeah, let's set a plan to achieve that valued outcome, that goal, that life goal.